to you. Balogu and Broad does. Let's talk about the stock market and Alaba market. Let's talk about share IPOs and diesel supply LPOs. Let's talk about Broad Street. The Nigerian stock exchange recorded an all-time high of... And Balogun Street. Uh, the maximum I was spent on fuel to and fro mm. was 4000 On Balogu and Broad, Wednesdays at 5. Why do our markets have a sanitation problem? Welcome to the Realist Business Show on radio on Balogun and Broad. We talk about how the issues in the news affect businesses of all sizes and the people who work for those businesses. And today, let's enter markets. May we enter market? Why do our markets have a sanitation problem? We're talking about this because of the recent shutdown of Oyimbo Market, but it's a national problem, like I've been saying uh, since, uh, since today's show started at 3 o'clock. In every town that I've visited in Nigeria, the markets have been filthy. You see lots of refuse piled up. You step in muddy ground soaked in waste. Let's not even start with the smells. And in most of these markets, we're selling food. And it brings me to our business hard fact for today. According to Food Stanley, 90% of Nigerian food sales are done in open air markets what that means what that statistic means is that if you look at all the food that is bought and sold in this country 90 percent of it passed through a market passed through those markets with the filth and the garbage and the flies and the germs so market sanitation is a big public health problem. And today on BNB, let's talk about why these businesses are unable to make sure their environment is clean. If you have a business in the market, if you are, uh, if you have a trade in the market, I really want to hear from you on this one. If you have a shop, if you have, you know, you're doing business there, I, I really want to hear from you. Because let's remember that the market is a place of business. So every trader there is a business person. Then you also have the waste collectors who are usually either private contractors, so business, or government agents. They're getting paid to provide a service, sanitation. So how come neither the traders nor the collectors are able or willing to make sure those markets stay clean? That's on one side. Let's move away from the businesses. Let's come to the customers. You and I, me and you. We go to those markets every day to buy things. How come we have not insisted on better conditions? After all, they say the customer is always right. Okay? Do you think that if we, Nigerians, as a group, insisted on better standards in our market, that we would get them? If we say, oh, we're not going to go to mile 2 market again or mile 12 market again or any of the markets in this country again until, you know, the market people clean it up, etc., etc., that they would actually say, okay, we'll clean our market. We'll make sure our market is always clean. Do you think we would get that if we demanded for it? And then finally, away from the businesses and the customers, there's the regulator. You have local governments who are in charge of markets and sanitation. You have the state governments as well. How come they haven't been able to use their powers to force the market stakeholders to clean up their acts? So see all the categories I've put in front of you. True, I'm from anywhere where you like. It's our conversation today, Lagos. Let me hear from you. 0700-993-993-993-01465-7190. Why are our markets so filthy? Which of the stakeholders are to blame? You, the customer? The business woman or man? The other businesses who are supposed to keep the market clean? Or the regulators? Local government, state government? Which of the stakeholders are to blame? What percent of the blame would you give to each stakeholder? What needs to be done differently to give us cleaner markets? Call me from, from Balogun Street. Call me from Broad Street. Let's talk. Talk to me on Facebook as well. Facebook is Nigeria Info 99.3. Talk to me on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is 080-959-75805. 
080-959-75805. We've got someone called Smile on the line. Smile is in a jar. Smile is a first-time caller. Hi, Smile. Good to have you on the show. Yeah, um, yeah the problem we have in the market mm. is the same as the problem we have everywhere in Nigeria. Okay. And that is the same problem of accountability. Nobody is held accountable for anything. People just do anyhow and get away with it. For instance, we have people whose job is to make sure that those markets are clean. Mm -hmm. The uh, ZPSP operators, and the Loma people. Now, mm -hmm. if you get to those markets, you see those um, waste, big waste bins they always, they always keep. It's always overflown. You see dirt around it and everything. By the time, okay, I employ you to clean this market and I come, the market is not clean, and I sanction you, uh, do whatever I have to do in a, a punitive uh, move, mm. then people will sit up. The another thing is, each trader, each shop will have a waste bin mm. with a uh, trash bag where you put all your waste, all your trash, your customer come, maybe you're selling a range, your customer come, you cut a range for them. After talking, they put inside a trash bag. Mm. Then when the PSP crew will come, it makes it easier for them to pick it you know, pick them, pick the bags, you know, and dispose properly. Mm. So my problem, my, my, uh, what I'm saying now is that the problem is accountability. We will give people work to do, especially government works. Mm. We are responsible. Mm -hmm. We don't check them. We are, they are not accountable. Mm -hmm. That's my contribution. Thank right. you. Thank you very much, Smile, for calling us. Smile is a first-time caller who joined us from Aja. 01465-7190. Women, call us on that number. Men, call us on 0700 993-993. Nine nine three. Now, in my opinion, everyone's to blame for the situation in the markets, but some people, um, I think, have more blame than the other. Which of the stakeholders um, have which percent percentage of the blame? How much percent will you give to each of the stakeholders? So remember, I've given you the um, um, businesses, right? The business person, the business person as per person that is selling in the market and business person who is supposed to provide the service of taking the trash away from the markets. Then we move to the customers, you and I, because we're stakeholders as well. If we insisted that, you know, if the market conditions, the sanitation conditions in these markets nationally do not get better, we're not going to keep trading in these markets would we have cleaner markets? And then the regulator. How come they haven't been able to use their powers to force the market stakeholders to clean up their acts? 99.3. Hello. All right. We've got no one there. 99.3. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Thanks for calling. What's your name? My name is uh, Cyrus. I'm a column from Makuyaba. Welcome. Uh, done. Um, the issue at hand uh, on the ground there concerning why our market is being dirty. Mm. So uh, I may say that the problem is from the government. The reason is this. Government is in charge of collecting waste. And they have agents there. Okay. People that collect money for them. Loma, they will pay Loma. They will pay Abro, pay all these agents. At the end of the day, these people can't be able to remove the trash. Okay. So that's why our market is so dirty. If these people can remove their hands in the market, and let's say market people, you are in charge, the management of the uh, uh, market, you are in charge of removing the dirty in the market to ensure that the market is clean, I assure you the market will be okay. Okay. By the time you pay all these people, and they, uh, at the end of the day, they didn't remove anything. They will gather at their back. They will come and lock the market. Then they will demand the market to be clean. After cleaning it, they will charge you. You will pay. It's just because they used to be to expose them. All you was to expose them. This is what they do almost from November every year hmm. to December. Hmm. They will be going one half market after market to lock and demand money from them. I see. Okay. So all right. let or let all those agents let remove the remove them from that place. Let market management manage the market and ensure that the market is clean. Hmm. Okay. Thank you very much for calling. Altine is in Ikeja. Hi Altine. Hi um, Sandra, how are you? I'm very well. Welcome. Thank you. I think uh, like uh, the 
first caller, the very first caller said, I think one of the reasons is lack of sanctions, too. And secondly, I think uh, the traders uh, who are the business, uh, have business owners there with the shops there also need to be maybe once in a while some enlightenment campaign programs or so. They can go around the market and enlighten them about how to keep their environment clean. Because on several occasions I enter a market, you will see the trader throwing trash right in front of her shop. Right. On several occasions, I have educated them. I will tell her, I will tell the person, please pick that trash. They said, no, that the people that are speaking will come and speak. I say, no, you pick it. If you pick it and put it in a dustbin, mm-hmm. don't you think it's better? Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, if there's rain, it will wash this thing up and then and go and block our um, the drainages. Mm-hmm. And this is what causes floods right. in Lagos. And they will now say, oh, that, is that true? I say, yes, madam. Oh, yes, auntie. Thank you. Uh, most times I insist that they pick the trash right. if I see them. So I think they need to be educated. And so also, this, it, is, it is a Nigerian thing. If I'm not only in the market, you see people in their big jeeps, they will drink water, they will do anything, and they will wind down and just throw it on the streets of Lagos. Right. Or on the, on the street. That is what we do. But if you go abroad, you don't do that. So I don't get it. I think a lot of us need to be educated also. Mm. People just throw trash anywhere. They don't care. So that is the main problem. People and people need to be sanctioned if they find you because abroad, I'm sure, if they, if they see you throw anything because they have cameras everywhere, it will pick your car and then you'll be sanctioned. But in Nigeria, they don't do that. And so only those who you can catch a few people. There was one day I was on the street of Lagos and I saw somebody, he was not too far from the, what do you call it, from the, from the just be, mm-hmm. he just couldn't be bothered. He just chilled. And I told him, what do, will you take you to just throw this thing inside the dustbin here? He said, madam, leave that thing. Daddy, how many people, all these ones where you see on the ground, how many people don't throw it? Please leave matter where I, there. And I was like trying to educate him. I said, you don't do that. It's not, it's very wrong. He said, madam, I better not worry me only. Maybe. This is not government work. Made them do, I made them pack the trash. <laughs> well, so, I, <laughs> so people need to be educated. Thank you, Altine, for calling. Always a pleasure to hear from you. 99.3. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. What's your name? I'm Mrs. Ajayi. I'm Mrs. from Suriname. Welcome, Mrs. Ajayi. Thank you. Sandra, hmm? go to the market. Hmm. You will see the Ministry of Environment Trust back somewhere. Right. The officials are busy going about doing what they know how to do. Right. And stopping them. Right. When you drive, I think when you are coming from uh, Ibo, mm-hmm. that you want to go to Yaba, mm-hmm. the big um, waste management something is there. Mm. Just beside them here, mm. where that big touch is, mm-hmm. you see women selling ugu. They don't even spread something on the ground Ugh. to play the ugu. Go get somebody to go and investigate, to go and investigate what I'm saying. Ugh. They don't dump the ugu here. The pile of ugu on the floor here. Yeah, on the stands here. Mm. That is why I think, I, I think people will just go to market, buy you go and begin to share it there. Mm. Without first washing it. Mm. Any market that is not clean, the Ya and Baba Oleja should be sanctioned. You see how you see all these market women, they have stalls, but they still bring their wares outside to sell. This same when you go market, the new market, mm. go to the car park. Mm-hmm. You can't even drive in. Mm-hmm. Every year they spread things to sell. Mm-hmm. And what is the Yah Oleja doing? Every time they say they want to collect your Oleja's money, your Baba Oleja's money, mm-hmm. they are not doing anything. Our local government is not even helping matter. Ministry of Environment, go there, you will see their trust pack, pack there. Mm. And the old place is still dirty. Have a good day. Uh, Mr. Jai, time. before you go, hold on, please. We'd like to get okay. your number. Hold on, let's get your number. Uh, let's speak with Joy in Ikeja. Hi, Joy. Hello. Hi, Joy. Good to have you on the show. Okay, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. Okay. Welcome. Yes. Um, quick one. Mm-hmm. Uh, people were saying when people travel out of the country, mm. you don't see them trash things outside or they align themselves mm. well. Well, the reason is because they have a working system. If you have a working system, mm-hmm. everybody will align. I mm. keep saying it. Okay. It's not rocket science. If you don't have a working system, every human being tends to behave like 
when there's no um, enforcement or mm -hmm. there's no rule, mm -hmm. people tend to behave anyhow. That's that right. Is how human beings are. Mm -hmm. So, but when you have a system that works, mm -hmm. it will align you to do the right thing. Right. Even when somebody's not looking, do the right thing. Right. So, um, Telling people saying, oh, uh, because you eat a trace out of the window mm -hmm. of your car mm -hmm. or you're in a market, you trash it anyhow, mm -hmm. it's actually because there's no working system. Mm -hmm. When there is, everybody Everything will work out. Yeah, everybody will work out fine. That is why even somebody who is a madman here, mm -hmm. when he goes outside the country, <laughs> what does he do? He aligns himself. <laughs> So that's justice. Uh, Joy, still on the line. Let's get your number. Still on the line. Let's get your number, okay? All right, okay. then. Let's talk to a few more people. 99.3, hello. Hello. Good to have you on the show, sir. What's your name? Yeah, good afternoon, Sandra. Good afternoon. Yeah, this is Hugo Victor. On your way, Gozegi. Gozegi. It's boom, mother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, reacting to the topic, mm -hmm. I believe um, two major people or players mm -hmm. are supposed to Head responsible. Right. Number one is the agent, as in the people who interface between the traders in the market and the agency that interface with the government. I want to cite example with where I was doing my business in Ladebo. Okay. And um, actually, when we are collecting some amount of money from us, in most cases, you will see the whole environment being littered with um, beings. Mm. The people who work for the market coming to the market to clean up the So most, most times you come to the market, you begin to clean the environment yourself. It's always annoying. Right. So like somebody who called and was saying that um, he was trying to advise um, a particular trader while he was entering the market. Right. I believe you as a trader, mm -hmm. if you get to your business place, you see everywhere messed up right. and um, you paid money to clean up the environment. Right. It's not always, it doesn't make somebody to feel happy. You mm -hmm. as an individual, you won't even feel happy when you know that the environment, you have paid money for somebody to clean it up. At the end of the day, they put the money in their own private pocket. I'm just talking out of experience because then in the market, we used to sometimes we mobilize and begin to make cases against the market officials. They will collect money from us. At the end of the day, they will pocket the money and they don't clean up the area. We come to the business, we use our hand to begin to clean the environment in order to do the business. I don't want to mention the name of that warehouse, but it's a very popular warehouse in Ladebo. So, most of the time, the problem lies in the officials of the market okay. and the agency that interface between the government and the cleaning up of the environment. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you, Victor, for calling us. Ebera is on the line. Ebera in Kostain, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Thanks for calling. Welcome. Go ahead. Yeah, I think the, the problem is not the government, though. Okay. It's, it's the individual. Okay. Because if I'm passing the Dumata on a Thursday, mm. they, they, they claim they do environmental from 7 to 10. Mm -hmm. You just see everybody standing. Right. So is it the government? Good question. It's the individual. They don't want to do what they're supposed to do. Okay. Because okay. everywhere is dirty. I'm just coming back from a supermarket now. Okay. I couldn't take water. Ugh. Even my, I went with my son. He, he's sitting beside me. He couldn't take anything mm. because the market is so dirty. Right. And people are eating and drinking. Ugh. And I heard that they go around collecting environmental money. And at the end of the day, nobody is doing anything. Right. So, you know, if they really want to, like, get it right, mm -hmm. they should tell everybody, if you come to your shop on Thursday morning, mm -hmm. sweep in front of your shop. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We the, we, the citizens, too, will contribute to the problem. Eberi from Costain, thank you so much for calling. Let's talk to Zeno in Ikeja. Hi, Zeno. Hello. Good evening, Sandra. Good evening. Good to have you on the show. Thank you very much. I want to just make my contribution. I think the Baba Oloja and the Yaloja should be held responsible because I know they collect money every Friday for a weekend. Okay. They should supervise the uh, cleaning of the market. Okay. They should. Okay. At least watch them. The Thursday cleaning that uh, the lady just said that some of them stand and they don't clean. They should make sure that everybody in the market cleans the market. If it's not clean, they, they do not allow them to 
open their shop. Right. They should be held responsible. Right. That's my take on that. Thank you, Zeno, for calling. In. Thank you, Zeno, for calling. Oh, I think you were still talking there, but thanks for calling. Uh, Olua Shola, uh, Mrs. Olua Shola, if you're listening, I'd love to get your number. So please give us a call so that we can get your number as well. Paul Inaja, good to have you on the show. Good evening, President Sandra. Good evening, sir. Good to have you on the show. Uh, Uji Paul calling from Aja. Welcome. Yeah, uh, though I didn't follow from the beginning, but I guess you are talking about envir environment. Well, we're talking about markets. Why are our, why Market. do our markets have a sanitation problem? So we talked about okay. it from the perspective of the business person who is selling in the market, then the businesses that are providing uh, evacuation of of uh, uh, rubbish as a service, and then we talked about the regulators themselves, and then we talked about you and me as customers. If we demanded a cleaner market. Would we get a cleaner market? Yes, of course. Uh, just like the other caller, I think a woman was saying, mm. the problem is not actually from the government. We don't. We we tend to be blaming the government all the time. Well, we forget to look inward within ourselves. How much are we trying? We, the members of the public, at least. This should be a collective res responsibility for uh, everybody. Right. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's only in, in the market alone, even in our households. Like we are living in Naja. Mm. I don't have money. I'm not a rich man. Okay. I'm just a driver. Okay. I live in one of the slums here in Naja. Okay. But I, I try as much as I can. I wake up every day. I have a rig. I use this rig to rig all the races and keep them for collection when the people that used to collect it from, from us mm. come mm. and pay them money they take. But do you believe that people will see, even see mid, uh, making all these samples, mm. people are still dumping refuse anyhow. Mm. And when I explain, they will be asking me, uh, or they will be telling me why I am so concerned about all this, I am mm. carrying everything on my head. Mm. It is wrong. I remember when we were growing up as uh, when I was growing up as a child. Mm -hmm. First thing in the morning when you wake up, you carry broom and sweep the the the, 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 the compound. You mm. keep every, everywhere tidy. Mm. If you don't do it, you you'll be punished for that. But these days we don't have that uh, happening thing. anymore. Paul, thank you very much for calling us from Aja. Stanley is a first time caller from our Papa. Hello, Stanley. Welcome. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. We have two parties that should be blamed on this issue. Okay. Well, we as a people in Nigeria, so let's tell ourselves the facts and the truth. Okay. We are dirty people. Ah. If you should walk down the street, you see us committing all sorts of things. Mm. You can see someone like throwing a dead inside the go and all sorts of things. Okay. And the other side that should be blamed is the government. They are the ones that should enforce okay. and hold anyone responsibility. Okay. So we are, we are all accountable okay. for all of this. Okay. Both the government and we ourselves as individuals. As the people. So that's all I can say. Stanley, thank you very much for calling to say it. You have said quite a bit. Now let's go to WhatsApp and take a look at the messages there. Peter Yorinde says, Sandra, um, there is an issue when the citizens and media make it the superior responsibility of citizens to have good behavior. Nowhere in the world, in both human and animal kingdom, that living things behave individually in a decent way. It is either they are enforced consistently or have unitary education or they are born from the same queen as insects. The system is supposed to be functional without reliance on a super director of the day. In Nigeria, we are different people who are mostly not concerned about excellence. You dare not walk along... Um, uh, train tracks in Oshodi, you will contract diarrhea from the air. Individuals are not the problem, but leadership. If leadership is proper, structures become proper. The flock cannot be smarter than the shepherd. Mm. I loved, loved that message. Thank you so much for your message. I really enjoyed reading it. Uh, Peter, you're in from Anthony there. Sandra, I'm a shop owner in Mushing and I am not to blame. Oh, our regulatory system is faulty and politicized. Here in Mushing, we pay for Loma to come and pack our dirt at least three times in a week. Again, we also pay separately for sweepers, but these people come once in a week. Sometimes they cart, uh, the cart they drop will be filled up. Even the sweepers only sweep without packing. 
checking it and we pay the money regularly so sandra is it our fault or by no jesus from motion with that question or by no jesus thank you for that question all right we'll take a break i'm not sure we're going to come back from this break but um uh, at 6 15 golden penny will be live on air for their 12 days of christmas uh promo and uh, i'll make sure that at least two people walk away with goody 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 bags cutsy golden penny so don't go away there's goodies waiting all right if we don't come back from this break until the news at six that means at 6 15 me you right here on 99.3 nigeria info winning money winning stuff from golden penny foods i'm sandra as the on social media don't go away you are listening to your number one station, 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.